So welcome to the project demonstration of intelligent safety helmet system for coal miners. So in this project we developed a helmet with uh, multi sensors like the sensor one is for obstacle detections or any like objects fall in front of him then the system will detect that with the help of this IR sensor and provide us the audible alert through this buzzer this is the first sensor and second sensor is if is any harmful gases detects then this gas sensor will inform to the Arduino, you know, Arduino Nano board and here we are going to send the message alert through the Wi-Fi module to the mobile phone so from the, from the application we can access the informa information about the alerts so like for the gas detection we are using the gas sensor and the temperature from this LM35 temperature sensor and also if is anything fail on this person then this force sensor will detect that same it will inform to the uh, mobile phone through the Wi-Fi communication so this mobile app, mobile app can be accessed from the surface uh, the respective department persons and also it will provide us a location so with the help of this GPS module we will get the location the live location will be sent continuously to the app so whenever the abnormality detected from the gas sensor or temperature sensor or force sensor the abnormality messages will be sent to the mobile phone and that can be accessed in the SSH juice client application so here the helmet uh, consists of the battery which will provide the battery main power supply which is a rechargeable battery so for recharging this battery we need to connect the B type charger gently in this one slot so then there is a light indication so when the battery is fully charged this particular red light will get switched off and the blue light will get switched on so that is an indication of battery full charge so after that you can disconnect the charging cable and this is the main on off switch so before on the kit we need to provide the hotspot to access the data to the ESP i266 Wi-Fi module so before that let me explain you the connections so IR sensor and uh, smoke sensor sorry gas sensor and LM35 interface jet A0, A1, A2 and A3 pin for this 4 sensor and a GPS module at the receiver pin nothing but the pin number 0 of our nano board and LCD interface jet pin number 22 pin number 7 and the buzzer is at 13th pin directly and Wi-Fi module at pin number 8 and 9 so these are the interfacing connections so this helmet consists of this board so this is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply which is coming out from this converter to the all the input and output modules we are distributing the 5 volts from here so now on the hotspots in your mobile phone go to hotspot settings and change the hotspot name to project 5563 and the password should be 12345678 and band should be 2.4 gigahertz so set the hotspot and on the hotspot right now you can switch on this motherboard then there will be a welcome message on the LCD screen right so after that we can see the location values so as of now we are demonstrating the uh, under the sky view then there is no uh, like uh, satellite vision for the GPS so we will get the 00, 0 values and the temperature in degree Fahrenheit it is displaying that so to access this data in the mobile phone so click on this ESP module and note down this IP address so 192.168.189.83 and now we need to install the juice application from the play store this SSH client application so it's actually yeah so I'm showing from starting onwards right so it will come like this go to manage connections click on add button here we need to do the three steps one is a type telnet and IP address which we got from that hotspot region settings 189.83 okay and the port number 8080 so these are the three settings like type telnet address uh, from the settings and the port number 8080 after that you can click on directly so you can increase the font size by volume button so now we are continuously getting the GPS location values if is there any abnormal detected coming to the obstacle detection so no need of inform to the authorities just inform to the person so obstacle detected same message on the LCD screen and coming to the gas so gas alert message on the LCD as well as on this 
मोबाइल फोन राइट एंड टेम्परेचर मैंने तो टेम्परेचर क्रॉस इज द हंड्रेड डिग्री फॉरन हीट right temperature alerts here also will be displayed so if you anything fall on this helmet when the for heavy force detected then force alert message will be sent so right so here we are getting this information with the help of esp 8.6 and the region between these two is based on the hot spot uh, mobile phone strength so generally if you use a mobile phone it can go up to 10 to 20 meters, and if we go to the real-time routers, can up to the one kilometer. So, for this, no need of any internet. Using the Wi-Fi router only, we can access the data. So, here here is IoT nothing but we can access the n number of helmets from one mobile phone because each helmet consists of independent IP address. By accessing the IP address, we can get the sensor details directly.